Jody Sloniker still has a rough time returning to Pilger, Nebraska. It's hard to be here because it was, we, this was our home for so many years. The tornado that took her house took a lot more as well. And I, I don't think I would feel safe anymore here. Sloniker and her youngest kids, Cameron and Samantha, were home at the time the tornado hit. And I looked out the window and I really, it hit me right then that this was not a, this was not gonna be something that we were gonna come out of really easy. I just remember like us laying on the bunk bed and then my mom tell, telling us to hold on. At that point, the sirens went off. And within minutes, you heard the I'm sorry. The locomotive sound, and it was shaking our house. And I told him to hang on. And then after that, you just lay there and you heard everything upstairs crashing and the, the wood twisting and almost screaming. And then right after that, there was just this suctioning noise and the house was just off. It looked like we were on a Hollywood set of a, like, the day after movie. Hi, Butler! So Butler, the Weather Channel therapy dog, gave these kids a reason to smile. Nope. <laughs> Ready? Again. I have a stick. Here you go. <laughs> Butler's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Butler's awesome. You guys wore him out. <laughs> This is the pulley to the garage. Found some more. I found that picture of Kyle in his football uniform standing next to Grandma, Grandpa. It was over in the rock pile. I found it. <laughs> oh, we keep it? Absolutely. That is probably the best find we have had ever. You're welcome, Mom. You're welcome.